now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Historical Men in Crisis one of my viewers wanted me to do another installment in the Historical Men in Crisis series. And for this installment in the Historical Men in Crisis series, I'm going to be talking about honor killer Zine Isa, who took the life of his teenage daughter in 1989. Now, Zain Isa is infamously known for participating in an honor killing of his daughter in 1989, all because she had the audacity to participate in Americanized Western behavior, such as looking to have her own job and looking to pursue a relationship with a black man. And these ideals that his daughter learned as she emigrated to America were ones that Zion Isa was not happy to see his daughter express, and because she was acting like a typical Western American child, he felt that she was dishonoring his family and his beliefs as related to his religion, and this was his ju justification for murdering his daughter in 1989. Now, Palestina Isa was not a woman who was dysfunctional, no, it was her father, who was definitely a man in crisis, a man in crisis because he was having issues as related to his daughter, basically acting like an American citizen. And that basically wound up putting Zan Isa on the road to being a man in crisis because he wanted to have a smooth world. He wanted to have a world that was smooth as related to his religion and have a world where he wouldn't have to deal with any conflicts, problems, or obstacles from his family, who he believed should submit to his authority under that, under the religion he believed. However, his behavior was basically diametrically opposed to that at all, because in order for his world to remain smooth like he wanted, he would have had to have remained in Palestine, but the whole thing is, the reason why he couldn't stay in Palestine was due to the poverty that was there, and that was one of the reasons why he wound up leaving Palestine after marrying his first cousin, which basically put him out of the, again, order of religion, because he went out here and participated in incest by marrying a first cousin, and then after this he wound up moving from Palestine due to the poverty with other family members and moved to the south of Brazil where he wound up meeting his wife and as he met his wife in that uh, in Brazil Maria he wound up marrying Maria and as he married Maria he uh, despite the opposition of Maria's parents which is really interesting because while he sat there and talked about how he wanted to, again, have this household under his religion. He basically was out here being a hypocrite because he was out here and saying that he wanted to have this household under this order, but the whole thing was he was living a very chaotic life, and as he lived this chaotic life, he basically moved to different places, I mean, without telling his wife that he has already married before, again, looking to maintain his smooth world and use religion to be able to control that world, using religion to try to control that world, and then emigrated to America, moving to Patterson, New Jersey, Arcerebo, Puerto Rico, then to Caracas, um, Mato Grosso, and Tina was born in, Palestina, or his daughter Tina was born in Mato Grosso, the family moved back to Puerto Rico, and eventually what happened is he kept moving to different places until 1980 when Zion Isa eventually became a naturalized citizen of the United States. And after he became a citizen of the United States, the family moved to the West Bank when Tina was five, and then eventually came to St. Louis in 1986, where Zion Isa owned a grocery store in the area, and it was there that he started to have issues with his daughter because she was no longer in these foreign countries where he could maintain his smooth world as related to religion. 
he could no longer really maintain that smooth world where everybody would just be under him and just living the way he wanted them to live. No, his world started to become rough because of two things. One, his family moving to America, and two, the other thing was his daughter began, began learning American culture as they came to St. Louis, and instead of her being Palestina, she became known as Tina and took on a more American relationship with, um, with the country and started to learn more about the culture. Now, the relationship between Zion Isa and his daughter further deteriorated as his world got more rougher and as his world got more rougher because his daughter was entering into puberty his daughter entered into puberty and was looking to grow older and grow away she wasn't looking to be one of these submissive um women from the palestinian culture no she was becoming more westernized and as she became more westernized and was listening to more different kinds of music and just growing as a person she was aspiring to have a career as a pilot and was taking engineering courses in aeronautical engineering and wanted to pursue this type of training and that really went against zion isa's religion which was all about making sure that the daughters submitted to the father and were basically under the authority of the father and also were only looking to be wives because the only thing in that religion a woman was allowed to be was a wife according to this guy as related to his ideals of religion so his daughter was basically challenging many of his traditions and his culture and the lifestyle that she was having and he really wanted to see his daughter in an arranged marriage from a man from from palestine but she didn't want that at all because she had been americanized and as she was out here she was looking to further become more americanized and was getting involved with not only looking to pursue a career with a job at a fast food restaurant instead of the family store, what she also wanted to do was get involved with a black man, and that getting involved with that black man basically brought out the rage in Zion Isa, who basically was simmering and boiling in anger because he could not maintain his smooth world as related to religion, and because his world was becoming rough as related to the behavior of his daughter, he believed that his daughter was dishonoring him in the face of God, and because he believed that his daughter was dishonoring him in the face of God, he basically felt that his daughter was dishonoring him, and dishonoring him to the point where he believed that his daughter needed to die. Now this whole concept of looking to take the life of a daughter as related to an honor killing definitely is some beta male behavior, because a man's honor is not measured by his daughter. No, his honor is based on his actions. And sadly, Zion Isa was so busy with the mot, looking at the mot in his daughter's eye, he couldn't see the plank in his own and couldn't see that his family basically was a reflection of his own dishonorable behavior because he was the one out here who basically wound up marrying a family member and kept that from his second wife looking to maintain his smooth world, looking to maintain his smooth world as related to his 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 life, but as related to the world he wanted to create with his with his second wife and his child. He basically wanted to go out here and maintain that smooth world with with, with his wife and his seven children, making it look like everything was good in that world. But the whole thing he was again living a double life in the secret world living a double life not only with that marriage to that cousin but also living a double life because he was allegedly part of participating in a part of the abu nadal organization which was a terrorist organization and as he was a part of this terrorist organization which was promising to bomb the israeli embassy in washington dc he basically was sitting there talking about how his daughter was needing to be honorable as related to him, but he was participating in dishonorable behavior, which is typical, excuse me, of beta males, 
who want to maintain their smooth world. They don't want to acknowledge the wrong that they have done, but they want everybody else to be right in order for their world to be perfect. And that's what makes these individuals, again, extremely dangerous because they want, they, they value the veneer of that smooth world more than anything out here. And with Zion Isa, he was so desperate to maintain that so-called honor that he did not really have, that he looked to participate in this honor killing as related to this religion in order to, as he believed, make his world smooth as related to religion, but wasn't looking to go out here and just deal with everyday life because a 14 to 16 year old girl going out and rebelling is just basically part of adolescence. And in that time, that's where a man is not supposed to be thinking about himself. He's supposed to be thinking about his daughter and thinking about his daughter and thinking about what she needs as related to meeting her emotional needs. Because the reason why she was out in the streets is because this man was possibly too busy focused on maintaining his smooth world as related to religion and politics to meet the emotional needs of his daughter to provide her emotional security. And that's possibly why as she was becoming Americanized, she was more interested in becoming more part of American culture because he wasn't interested in nurturing his daughter. And because he didn't nurture his daughter, he basically, this is possibly what made him more and more frustrated and more and more angry because beta males, they really are terrible fathers. They do not know how to nurture children. They do not know how to support children because everything is about them maintaining that veneer for their smooth world, maintaining that veneer where they can feel secure about everything fitting into their ideals and they don't want to deal with conflict as related to real people. And once real people start acting in ways that do not fit into their smooth world, that's where these individuals want to destroy the life of that individual. And that's basically what Zion Isa did. He wanted to destroy his daughter's life because he felt he was being dishonored by her. And he felt that in order to make his world smooth, he needed to take her life in order to get his world to go back being smooth. Because in his country, according to their religion, rebellious daughters basically could have their lives taken. And since those rebellious daughters could have their lives taken, they believe that under that religion, they could go back to having their smooth world. But that's not how humanity works. Again, rebellious daughters are just a part of life. And again, a rebellious daughter does not really do that much dishonor to a father if he understands things. He understands that, yes, the whole thing is daughters are going to rebel, but the whole thing is that you don't tend to take the daughter's life. You can just leave that daughter and to her own thing and just dis, just not have anything to do with her. And that's how you deal with them. Because again, according to the to, to Bible, it says, Thou shalt not murder. And a man doesn't have a right to take a daughter's life. No, he can just cut ties with that daughter if he feels like that strongly about her rebelling and let her leave his home. That's all a man needs to do. But this man escalated his behavior because he wanted to have his smooth world and he wanted to have his smooth world and basically planned her murder, planned her murder, and led to her winding up being murdered in 1989 on November 6th. They, as the daughter came, was walked home from her boyfriend from her first day of her job at Wendy's, a job that her family didn't want her to have because they didn't want her taking power as related to having her own money and having this relationship with this black man. So what they did was the father and the mother planned to murder the daughter in an effort to regain this honor, and Zion Isa stabbed his daughter with a boning knife six times, taking her life, and Maria helped him out. And again, FBI agents, they weren't at the surveillance time when the murder happened because this was all being surveilled by the FBI as related to the Abu Nadal investigation. And eventually what happened with Tina Isa, Palestina Isa, was she was buried in Missouri at, at the Sacred Heart Cemetery. And after this, Zion Isa and Maria Isa were arrested and charged with the murder of their daughter and arrested and charged with the murder of this daughter. 
as related to this so-called honor killing, an honor killing that was only done to maintain not the honor of Zion Isa, but maintain his smooth world, and maintain his smooth world because he didn't want to deal with the conflicts from a rebellious daughter, because again, beta males do not like to deal with conflict, do not like to deal with problems, do not want to deal with anyone who challenges them. They don't really want to acknowledge that other people have a right to live. No, in their world, it's all about them and all about them wanting the, way, the world to work the way they wanted. And that's basically what happened here with Zion Isa. Zion Isa basically was the one who put his entire family in, on a road to um, and being in a chaotic place because after he was arrested and his and his wife was arrested and charged, both of them were arrested and charged with the murder of their daughter and eventually wound up getting convicted. And eventually what happened to Zion Isa is he went from being a guy who was uh, participating what he believed to be an honor killing to winding up being arrested, charged, and convicted with the murder of his daughter and was given the death penalty and was given the death penalty and eventually wound up dying in prison in 1997, never being executed by the state, but spent his final days in this penitentiary and spent his days in the penitentiary as a result of him looking to have this honor, but went out in an ignominious fashion, be all due to his whole feelings about this, maintaining this honor. I mean, he went out in an ignominious fashion, dying in prison and not receiving any honor, not receiving any honor because he never learned how to be a man. And sadly, his wife died in 2014 in that prison as well. Both of them dying in prison, dying without honor or dignity, the thing that they took for taking the life of their daughter. And as they took the life of their daughter, they wound up again dishonoring themselves as related to God, because it says, thou shalt not murder. And again, murdering your own child as related to maintaining a smooth world is not anything honorable. No, the honorable thing is to give your child guidance and support in these in those very vulnerable teen years. That's how you honor your children, by giving them what they need so that they won't have to think that they need to go out into the world and learn about culture. Now, this sad situation is happens, again, as related to individuals like this, as related to religion, because they want to, again, have a smooth world as related to religion, not understanding that in the world of men and women, there are con there's conflict. And when you're dealing with children, they're not going to just be under you like submissive, obedient slaves. No, when they experience this world and they experience different cultures, they're going to be a part of that culture. And if, as, if they're as a part of that culture, they're going to be a part of that world. And again, if you want your children to grow up to be healthy, you have to give them guidance, even though they're a part of a different culture. Because if you don't do this, what happens is you wind up becoming frustrated and angry as related to having your smooth world. And the whole thing is that's going to make that world rough. And that's what happens to men like this who are too caught up in looking to have the veneer of religion, but not a relationship with God. And that, and that whole idea, of, again, leads to them winding up on the road from being men to winding up growing up to become fathers who wind up becoming men in crisis. And these fathers who become men in crisis, they wind up dishonoring themselves, dishonoring themselves because the real world is filled with conflict, is filled with people who are not going to follow tradition. And again, the way you deal with that conflict is being able to deal with it overall. Now this guy, again, was a racist and extremely dysfunctional because he wanted to have his smooth world. And the whole quest for the smooth world led to him winding up in a rough place where he wound up dying in prison, a man in crisis. Now, if you want to learn more about what leads to the dysfunctional behavior of individuals to put them on the road to being a man in crisis, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis at other online booksellers like Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and Walmart, and Target. And this was a video requested by a viewer, and if you want to request a video about a man in crisis, you can send a donation for a minimum of $15 to the Cash App or the PayPal. And if I know somebody about that person or I can do research on that person, I will make that video for you. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.
now available for the first time in paperback. Stop simping in the workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. Support black-owned and black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.